Hello YouTube, today I would like to review the ring doorbell which I purchased. I was planning to buy this for a long time. Uh, it was actually on sale. Then I thought, okay, let's go and buy it. I have seen uh, many videos, but I haven't found one is going through everything. Then I thought, okay, let's uh, make one. So that will be beneficial for the people who are planning to buy one. So the ring, I was a little skeptical about it when I came out, but it actually they proved they are a it's a good product i've seen people using it and i myself is a software engineer so i think uh, they actually created a nice app as well mobile app so i was uh, investigating about it and i found it very very good to use so i thought okay let's buy one and he or is it actually i'm unboxing it it came in a very nicely packed it was uh, i bought it from amazon and uh, since it was on sale it actually took about two weeks or so for them to ship to me i was okay because it was half price and i got an echo show free as well hey, if you haven't actually subscribed to my channel kindly doing so i'll be always grateful to you for that so uh the ring actually i got an offer amazon so look for any special occasions they say go sale once in a while here is actually the product itself it is uh, the main one is on the left hand side that is the device and other ones are the plates the front plates depends upon you got a gray black or a off white uh, i don't like that off white i wish it was very bright white um anyway i just went with the regular one the the uh, steel or the aluminium look i like that so i just thought to use it but you have various options if you would like to it depends upon your uh, trim of the wood which you used in that door you can choose whatever you want looks like uh, when I when you hold it, it you know that it is a sturdy piece it's built well and it is uh, good, good as well I live in snow capital of Canada so always the temperature here is about minus 25 or minus 20 at least in the winter months and like that for six months i want to make sure i am using an electrical product i want to make sure that it is actually working well it comes with installation tools which was very good so you don't need to buy any tools or special tools to install it you don't need an electrician to do that you can just do it by yourself just follow this video this video has i i haven't cut short anything so basically just follow it and you'll be able to get it done it comes with some specialized tool as well uh, so make sure that if you purchase this one save it somewhere keep it somewhere safe okay so that uh, if you want to remove it and to uh, do something with it you can actually do it it comes with all types of adapters and the extensions the screws nuts everything whatever you need you don't need to buy anything you don't need anything else if you want to actually install to your door so that is a good thing i, I like that they are they took uh, good care of us i guess which is good so it comes with instruction set and everything but it was a little bit of vague so i thought okay let's uh, figure it out and uh, this is actually oh they even sent us a uh, you know what to make sure that it is leveled properly so they even sent a leveler how cool is that anyway it is a little expensive stuff so i expect it from their uh, uh the product itself so here comes everything all the details you need to actually uh, uh, code scan the code and everything i will actually walk you through each and everything here is a sticker if you would like to scare the people saying that okay i got a ring nah i don't care about it so here is my old bell which is an electrical one so it is very easy you need to install something here because when somebody push a button there so you had you have to hear the back, uh, chime here right so just loosen up those two screws very easy to do and they are not picky you can actually select uh, here you can connect that black wire to either of it so you cannot go wrong there I would always suggest you to actually uh, make sure the power is off when you do all these things. I haven't done it because I kind of work on power. I thought, okay, let's make take some chance. I wouldn't recommend you doing that. Make sure you do, turn it off. 
So once you connect it, just uh, push that stuff inside. There is, it actually comes with a sticky as well, so you can stick it. I haven't used it, I just thought, okay, let's push it in. There was a space in there. Then that's it. You cover the old bell and here you go. So you don't need to do anything else there. All you need to do is that much. Okay, you may have a question how far it can be. I don't know, maybe 10, 50 feet is good enough. It should actually pick it up and go from there. This is my old bell uh, switch. I wasn't really a big fan of that. So I thought, okay, let me change it. Here, just unscrewing it. Kindly make sure the power is turned off or the breaker to that panel is off. It is a pretty straightforward process. You don't need any special skills or certifications or anything to do that. And the power coming over there, it is very, very light as well. So you won't die. Don't quote me. <laughs> so make sure the power is turned off, okay? I haven't turned it off. So disconnect the switch, the existing one. You'll be having the exact same setup. There is, it's gonna be the same way. I'm just making sure there is any power or anything which can harm me. Always wear a rubber shoes or something, you know, just to protect yourself. Here is the product. If you actually just push it, you can, if you want to install another face, another plate, you, this is how you should do it. Since uh, it might be, uh, it was in the shelf for a long time, it was a little bit stuck. So all you need to do is very easy. Just push it from inside okay then the stuff just comes out don't push on the camera because it may break but on the white white stuff uh, the black one here I'm just trying to give uh, to see how it looks like I haven't liked the black so trying the next one I really have no idea why I try this white <laughs> So out of all these four, I like <laughs> the silver itself. So here you don't need to do too much of things. You are provided with all the nuts and bolts and screws and the tools required to get this one done. I'm just trying to figure it out how that uh, screws goes. It is much easy. Just put that device towards the uh, uh, panel. Do a test fit. Just trying to make sure there where that particular two holes goes so that I can actually uh, push that in make sure do not forget to keep that uh, take off that plastic covers because those may if you don't take it off then your vision won't be good when you see through the camera it won't look good so here you actually need to connect to that two wires There is no specific pattern where you should connect. You can connect to either of it. So don't need to worry about it. Unscrew a little bit 
and they actually provided some extenders to hope you remember that i showed you some black wire there if you want to extend it that wire if your wire is short enough you can just easily extend it and connect to that since my my wires were really kind of little long enough so i just use it directly sorry for the camera trying to get it done and having my kit to actually hold it for me make sure it is connected properly just to wrap around that particular screw you know then it's not going to go anywhere tighten it properly do not over tight it So if you have an OCD, this is not a place to test. So do not over tighten it because it's made of plastic, right? Make sure that you get it right because once you install and this uh, wire goes loose you have to do everything again so take your time wrap around that copper around that particular screw tighten it once you have it i would actually suggest you to do a test with this device before you actually screw it there i have done that i am not actually showing it here that's all so i screwed it towards i haven't screwed it towards i just want to see how it actually looks So once you connect to the wire, try to just push the button and see whether it actually rings your bell inside. And I like the, I'm just trying to see whether the silver looks good or not. It looks great. So once you screw it off, screw that stuff, then uh, uh, you can actually come back and start installing the app. You can go and download the ring. It comes with a QR code. You can just scan it and it will take care of the registration part. It will come with a small uh, paper like that, that does have the scanning code as you have seen over there. I don't want to show that in the camera because it's not safe. So go, once you install, go download the app, ring app. Then when they ask you to scan it, you scan that QR code and here you go. It will ask you to actually set up with your Wi-Fi. I had a little bit hiccup with the Wi-Fi. You have to make sure that you're connecting to the correct Wi-Fi. And there's a good thing when you install the lights on the ring goes in particular fashion if there is an error code of some something is not properly working it will be having a different flash than something else so you can easily identify that so they clearly tell you as well to install it trust me if you have not worked with any apps or anything if you are not a tech savvy person still it is okay you will be able to easily figure it out i'm just trying to figure out my settings on my wi-fi just to make sure that i am actually connecting to the right one I did a little bit of mistake that's why I'm just showing you I haven't cut this from the video just want to show you that uh, I wasn't looking for the correct Wi-Fi 
so that was the only one thing you need to actually if you see that this going around that's how actually you need to uh, do it I'm right now connecting to it. So yeah, I see the ring. I was looking for everything else other than the ring. That that was the issue with mine. So since it's connecting, I, you can see the light is going round and round around that particular switch. It will tell you once when when it is actually connected. Now it's all connected and good to go. Make sure to remove the film on top of the camera. Otherwise, it won't be good and good. So make sure it is level so it will look good. You you are provided with a level as well, right? So should be able to figure that one out quick enough. Put the plate on and kind of call it done. But I would like to actually share the options which comes with the app as well i haven't seen that people talking about much about it so that's it and there is a safety screw in the in the bottom you need to you make sure that you put that one there okay the safety screw is a small screw which you need to hear using that particular tool you need to make sure that the safety screw is put properly So that nobody can just take it and run run away with it so yeah that's it it's all done it's sturdy it looks good when i press that one i hear the chime inside the house so it's all looking good I have found it very useful okay so I have seen actually people coming and going and things like that I can clearly see here I'm giving you a demo of the app itself this is how you actually see the outside my subscription ended I was actually waiting to give you a review uh, wait for two months to give you a review so my subscription kind of ended yesterday so you wouldn't be able to see the live if 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 I had subscription I can actually go back and see the live here what happened at that point of time it is about five or ten bucks I may buy it so don't think that once you purchase the ring you are set no they will be taking money from you because they have to save that data somewhere in their cloud right that's where they are actually doing it so there are three ways is a disarmed home and away you can actually enable based on that from the app itself and there's a cool thing you can actually talk to outside somebody standing outside you can talk to them by pressing a button so that's also there so this is actually the device and these are the options ring notification motion motion detection motion notification all these options are there I absolutely love they actually put a lot of work into it I myself de develop mobile apps so I know how much work they might have done to get all these things working it is a well-built app it never crashed it actually did everything what i look for i actually there is a pretty cool option that uh, you can select this place where the uh, motion is happening if you are uh, my my house is clear near to the road right so i just don't want to uh, ring to send me notification when a dog or somebody walking through uh, the just driveway or nearby so I selected I can select a particular portion then only if somebody comes in that to that particular portion I will get an alert so you can do all those cool things through the app which I kind of really liked it see there is edit motion zones it is pretty neat I, I like that I truly wish uh, if Ring extended the the free service at least for three months. They only did for one month, and now has to pay. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. 
so if you are planning to purchase a ring this is a good product i certainly watch for that uh, it is not that expensive but it actually gives you the peace that you can actually see the people who are coming in your doorstep or anywhere else i wouldn't actually recommend you installing inside facing inside i just saying uh, it is for anything don't do that it is not really useful and i wouldn't actually recommend installing any cameras inside the house if you see uh, if you search in google you will be able to see all the cameras people put in inside the house and they forgot to change the password so here i just want to make sure it's all safe so anyway looking outside so cool these these are the actually it's a screenshot from the app if you haven't uh, i hope you like it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and thank you so much take care god bless stay 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 safe bye bye